Welcome to Dreamit YouTube channel and on today's video we're going to learn about setting up O365 data loss prevention policy and for this particular policy enablement you should have Microsoft 365 business premium plan and you might know that DLP is one of the intelligent servers in M365 it actually looks for the messages files and other document that contain sensitive information and DLP can be applicable to exchange OneDrive SharePoint sites teams and channel and on premise repositories and also you can apply this policy to configure about what can and cannot be done with the data so let's set it up on your o365 tenant so currently go to your admin dashboard once you're in a dashboard go to teams and groups on teams and groups click on active teams and groups click on distribution list here we're going to create a group where whoever user are in this group the dlp will be applied to them so i will give a name as test dlp i'll just ignore the description and group email address so now the group email address has been created and once the group is created double click on it and go to members and now you have to add a member to this group currently to test dlp i need only one user with whom i'll be testing i will select a person and i click on add and now it will be saved so once it's saved i'll go back to compliance on compliance i click on data classification from there sensitive info types and i have to create a custom keyword because from O365 they will give three of the keyword that is credit card, PAN and Aadhaar. So rest of the data can still be shared. But we don't want that to happen. So we'll create a sensitive info type as keyword. And now we will give certain keyword that we don't want to share. Always go with low confidence. If you want to still identify the data has been shared in um, whether it is lowercase or uppercase. Now I will add all the keyword that I don't want the user to share within the tenant or outside the tenant. That is salary, pay slip, offer letter, credit card, and then interview invoices. So these are the information I don't want user to use on their services. As I earlier mentioned, that contain Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, and Rest. From here, I click on Word Match and here i will select anywhere in the document even in the document if these are mentioned it will still tell and notify the user not to share so select low confidence and you can reveal the settings and finish now the sensitive info has been created so distribution group and sensitive info has been created now we'll go to data loss protection i'll see for the policies let's create a policy that is a custom and from template custom policy and I will name my DLP policy as custom policy test and these are the default services that would get activated but I want it for exchange email and from exchange email I had to say the user who comes inside this distribution group so I want SharePoint sites no because I currently don't have a site on my tenant so OneDrive account and I will select uh, choose distribution group and select the test DLP group once that even for teams you can do the same and the users would be inside the test DLP group so exchange OneDrive teams chat and channel has been selected I will click on next create or customize advanced DLP rule here I will create a rule now once the DLP is created rule is the next process so I will name as test this would be a test rule DLP contents condition exceptions actions so in condition 
I'm going to select the sensitive info types that I've just created with certain keywords. Okay. So the keyword has been selected. Click on add. One sensitive info type has been selected. Click on other sensitive info types or if I have just created one sensitive info types so next info type would be the predefined one those are the pan card so I'll click on pan India permanent account for India we have three sensitive info types as I said those are pan Aadhaar and credit for everything, I will give it as low confidence. And then credit card. So these are the details along with the keyword that we have custom created. Shouldn't be shared. And now the condition is content is shared from Microsoft 365 with people outside my organization. Restrict access. So this is the condition, this is a DLP policy and I'm blocking this only people outside your organization. User inside your organization will continue to have this particular information. And email and notification, I'll just click on notify the user who sent. So whenever those documents are been attached with that keyword or the messages are been typed and sharing, at that time this particular information will be popped up notifying them to not to share it's a warning to them and then the policy tips the policy tips would be contain sensitive information please check before proceed once that I will click on allow override from M365 service which is actually not required and I will go to incident reports so what happens in incident report is even after they ignore the alert and send the information someone from the tenant should know the activity has been carried out so I will select the user who will be getting a notification regarding the information which has shared from which person so this is the person who will be getting a notification that i've just selected and use email incident report to notify you when a policy match occurs so you can add or remove the people and these are certain things that better to be enabled this is about the incident report priority would be zero priority and then save right now you can review your policy now you can test it out now itself or later uh, and then not keep it off I will go with test it out first if you're confident that it works fine you can just turn it on but it's always better to test and then I believe this video was helpful. If yes, please like this video as well as share and subscribe for more.